Hi, I'm Patty Moreno, the Garden Girl. And I'm Mel Bartholomew from the Square Foot Gardening Foundation. We're here to give you monthly tips on what you should be doing in your garden. And it's January. It's the new year. Right. A lot of us make New Year's resolutions, and I bet that on the top of a lot of people's list is starting a vegetable garden this year. I hope so. When they get their seed catalogs, everyone every year says, oh, Henry, we ought to have a garden this year, us a uh, vegetable garden. Well, of course, then they have to plan the whole thing. And you know, one of the principles in permaculture is to bring your garden close to you, close to your living environment, close to your house. And with square foot gardening, we've reduced the size yes. of our garden, so it's a lot easier to maintain. Absolutely. And when it's close to your house, you're going to pass it more often. Now, I like to tell people to uh, have it right outside your kitchen window. Okay. okay. So while you're doing the dishes, you look right out there and there's your garden. Now there's a couple reasons for that. One is the pleasure, obviously, of seeing your garden, watching it grow. The other is in case there's some problems out there. So Mel, sunlight is also a consideration. Yes, absolutely. And for most vegetables, you need six to eight hours of sunlight. Now, in the wintertime, it's a little different sunlight than obviously in the spring and summer. So you want to kind of remember that the sun is low in the sky now. It may throw more shadows. But think about summertime, where's the most sun? And we want to get that garden as close to the house as possible, still with six to eight hours of sunlight. You could even have it in a patio or right outside the back door. That's the most important thing. Actually, in, in conclusion, the main thing that we've really talked about is get your garden started close to the house. You'll take better care of it. You'll enjoy it more and it'll grow better, much better. I'm Patty Moreno, the Garden Girl with Mel Bartholomew, giving you tips every single month on what you should be doing in your garden. And tune in next month because we're going to take you right through the whole garden season.